For the final time in this conference's history, there is a regular season champion, and it's the Arizona Wildcats. Plus, Clements Darren Sutton with a brief recap of what was an unforgettable night of baseball. Back and forth, and it really stayed back and forth and tight thanks to this man. An outing for the ages. Cam Walty went eight in the third, struck out eight, didn't walk anyone. Well, he was tremendous. He came in with the third best ERA in the Pac-12, although he's number three in the rotation for the Cats. Tonight, he was number one and as good a number one as there was in the country to give the Cats a chance to stay in this game and win the game. Heart and soul, and then all the fans gave their love to the man who transferred in a couple of years ago from Nevada. Unbelievable, he'll never forget it. But then again, so will this man, Javen Trotsky. Beautiful approach to the right side. He has been a pest the whole series. Puts Oregon State on top. That's not Bazana, that's Trotsky, the nine hole hitter. But then, Mr. Summerhill, a couple of runners on, and Brendan ended it. Well, he's done it a few times this year, and he finds the gap. And all he's thinking about is can Maddox Mikolakis, who was on first base, get to the dish? And he did. And the Cats walked off the Beavers for the Pac-12 championship. What a celebration. What a night. Chip Hale, who grew up in this conference and won a championship playing through this conference. It meant so much to the head coach of the Arizona Wildcats. They will not play till Wednesday. Wednesday night, prime time. They win there in the semifinals. Oregon State, by the way, don't get lost in the fact that they destroyed Arizona in the first two games of this series. Their magic number was one, Arizona. They waited until the final inning of the final game to get that one. It was incredible. So we will see you at the conference tournament. Meantime, I think it's safe to say, raise a glass to the Cats.